friends I'm finally free of COVID-19 I've actually been free for a few days but or I'm free of the isolation and <laughs> believe it or not that's really really nice there's still a lot of restrictions in Denmark but <laughs> when you've been isolated for a few weeks like totally isolated it's really nice that you can just stop on the street and talk to people you know go out and shop groceries <laughs> all these things are just really enjoyable and I've started doing um, cold exposure again I started with uh, cold showers and worked those up in time and I guess today I'll for the first time go and have a swim in the lake um, I'm still kind of isolated because <laughs> me my wife and um, my daughter, we were positive for COVID-19 at the beginning. And my son, who is two years old, he was tested a few times, but was he kept um, being negative. Um, and so we waited and we had to test him in the end to um, see if he was positive, because then he had to stay at home. And of course he was positive, so I just bought myself one week again with him, but <laughs> you know, that's all right. Um, I'm still free to go out and do shopping if I just use hand sanitizers and stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, damn. That's just a burning nettle. <laughs> They're here in winter as well. Oh, well. I'm walking barefoot. Um, so, the only thing that's really left of COVID-19 is that I lost my ability to smell and I'll be a part in this video where I talk about that too and I suffer from um, psoriasis and that had an outburst as well so there's spots of <laughs> on a lot of parts of my body but I'm used to that happening so I just accept that and yeah it will get better with time so that's all right and I know that there's actually a lot of people asking about psoriasis and diseases like that. And Wim Hof, um, Wim Hof hasn't really helped me that much with the disease. It's actually mainly diet for me that works. And yeah, that can be a struggle sometimes for me. Yeah, but it's just really nice to be free of COVID-19 again and I don't have to worry about it that much for a while because I can't really give it to other people or get it myself for a while so that's really nice I'm just <laughs> most people wouldn't enjoy this because it is one or two degrees outside and it's really heavy winds and <laughs> rain but I don't care it just makes me feel good so this is gonna be the last video um, of this series because I'm feeling better so I'll be videos about I will make videos about other topics um, later on I just do it for the fun when I there's something that I want to share and yeah I often get a lot of ideas so I <laughs> often get things that I want to share so, thanks for watching this series and um, yeah there'll be this part about smelling because I guess that's something that most people could use anyway if they haven't had COVID-19 or anything well I'm actually over the coronavirus but the virus made me lose my ability to smell I've heard that this happens for a lot of people and it can sound like a small thing but it's actually pretty annoying <laughs> I can't taste my food fully it's not that rich an experience and I can't I feel that I can't cook probably and I enjoy um, cooking and eating food, um, but that's pretty annoying. Um, but then I heard in the TV that you can train your ability to smell. Um, so I've done that a lot. They told that it's really something that happens over like half a year, one year. Um, but I'm doing it a lot because <laughs> I want to smell again. <laughs> Not that I want to smell bad, but you know just um it's weird that all these small things that you i just took for granted like 
when clothes are dirty, when food um, is off date and getting moldy, it, I can't smell that. <laughs> um, but slowly, it's getting better. I don't know if it's because of just the symptoms getting better or it's because I'm actually training this hard because I do this, I don't know, two to five times a day. And I have chosen a variety of things that I'm smelling because I started with things that smell a lot because I couldn't smell a thing. This is apple vinegar and I couldn't smell it nearly at all when I began. Now, you know, I get the kind of nose burn thing that you can get from smelling <laughs> vinegar. Um, and I have curry and cumin and some instant coffee and cardamom. Things that smell a lot. And essence of elm almond that smells a lot too. Um, because that's what I heard that you have to start with a variety of things. And then I do it for like 20 seconds for each smell. And then I just continue until I'm finished and do that later in the day. And I always, and whenever I get my food, we've cooked a meal or I'm getting some bread or something, I take time to smell it fully. And, you know, at start that was pretty annoying, but now I'm starting to see some positive things in this as well. Because... If you've heard about mindfulness, you know that it has a lot to do with, um, yeah, being here and now. And just using your senses makes you able to be here now. So whenever I smell something, I actually appreciate it a lot better. And it makes me think that I should have done that a lot before. Um, because I don't always take the time to do it because, you know, you can feel that you don't have the time to do it or in my case I have small kids who, I need the milk, I'm hungry, uh, I'm full, I want to play and <laughs> there's always these kind of uh, disturbances. Um, <laughs> but that doesn't really mean that I couldn't take more time to do these things. So I guess I'll, I hope that I will take this with me. And whenever I do this, you know, I smell to something. You know that I'm doing Wim Hof and um, this is actually kind of like a breathing exercise too because it's really deep breath that I'm taking with a smell of course because I do it for like a few seconds and then I <laughs> blow the air out some place else so I don't have to blow it into all the things um, but when I've been through all these things I'm more, more relaxed as well and because of me having done a lot of different breath techniques, I know that is, that is actually because of the deep breathing. So, <laughs> I get that for free as well when I'm training this. So actually, it's, <laughs> it's good in a lot of ways. Even though I would probably still prefer to have my full ability to smell. But I guess that will come. Um, so if you've had COVID-19 as well, and you're suffering from this, there's actually a way to practice it. They're doing it in Danish hospitals and it's booming, of course, right now. <laughs> but they've done that for a lot of years, so I just didn't really think about that before. Um, so yeah, try that. Also, if you don't have corona, because it's actually nice just to take the time to smell things. I didn't realize how much this cardamom actually smells. It's really, really rich in... <laughs> in uh, its uh, smell. I've always just liked it in bread and pancakes and stuff, but when you smell it, oh my god, that's intense as well. So, try it if you like.